Water is the root of all creation. It flows throughout our planet, shaping the land. The motion of water serves as inspiration to create works that reflect human aesthetics. Whether seen in the movement of a brushstroke or in the shaping of a building or sculpture, the movement of water gives artists inspiration to express and create. Liquid life is fluidity and movement. When studying water in art beyond the image of water itself, we see the strong influence it has on different cultures and different times, different styles and different expressions. One of the most recognized artworks, Vincent van Gogh painted Starry Night in 1888. Van Gogh was heavily depressed as evident in the darkness of his work and the bold, agitated brushstrokes he used. The sky resembles the calm, smooth movement of water. Van Gogh painted the heavy gray-blue clouds in the sky as waveforms which give the painting movement, flow, and direction. He symbolizes the water-filled cloud as a large, dark wave as if suggesting a storm. Perhaps the storm he felt was his life. The liquid aesthetics of painter Neil Jenny, shown here in Saw and Sod, evoke water-like brushstrokes, a rediscovered version of the liquid abstract expressionist stroke, along with the cartoon-like drawings favored by pop artists. Speaking in allegorical truths, the visual and verbal jokes interact to engage the mind, and the painterly fluidity seduces the eye. German Expressionism shows a romantic side with The Tempest by Oskar Kokoschka. The artist's self-portrait of his passionate affair with Alma Mahler, widow of composer Gustav Mahler, is presented within an image of light and dark. With fluid brushstrokes, the artist depicts a flowing landscape of mountains and valleys. Shadows envelop the lovers who seem to emanate light from within. The portrait flows and whirls on the canvas and provides a sense of motion and fluidity, as if the lovers are floating on stormy waters. Earthworks are large-scale environmental pieces where the artist uses the earth and natural materials as their medium. Robert Smithson created Spiral Jetty on the surface of the Great Salt Lake in Utah. Smithson used rocks, dirt, salt, and water to build a large spiral leading into the lake. The work unifies art and nature and the water plays as the star of the piece. When the tide rises, Spiral Jetty cannot be seen, so the artwork is never the same. The natural, simple form makes the jetty blend right in with its natural surroundings. Abstract expressionist Clifford Still was one of the few exponents of this style who developed his craft outside of the New York City scene. Still painted in a free and loose manner, and his work showed fluid and flowing images using heavy paint textures. His basic image was of a predominant color in varying values and tonality, accented with somber or brilliant tones. He worked in a huge scale, as he did for his painting title number two. This abstraction is a wondrous landscape that has been described as a depiction of the drama and vastness of the West. Its sense of motion and swirl is reminiscent of landscapes and the movement of ocean currents as seen from space. Either you did it as a child or saw people do it, but spitting up water is something we can relate to. Bruce Nauman, Self-Portrait as a Fountain, is a performance art with a note of fun and impishness. It is Nauman's witty take on Marcel Duchamp's ready-made piece, Fountain, where Yuno was a piece representing the titled Fountain. Nauman uses water to become a human fountain, creating motion, fluidity, and action, while remaining as still as possible. Water is often romanticized and depicted as an element of beauty. Water is a frequent motif and theme in any landscape or garden painting. Claude Monet was known for his beautiful paintings in nature. In Water Lily Pool, Monet accurately and realistically captures the true image of water, something that is difficult to do. Monet is well known for his work with nature because of his use of light and reflection. He makes his vivid, bright strokes of pure color to create a reflection on the water. The light of the painting is easily seen as in the front, middle, and background. The mood is serene and the water provides a calm feeling. Frank Gehry's design for the Guggenheim Bilbao is as much a sculpture as it is architecture. Because it sits on a refurbished port in the Basque region of Spain, the museum's structure looks like a ship rising from the Nervion River. The movement of water is apparent, especially in the structure's swelling curves that resemble abstract waves that have a centripetal motion towards the center. In the artist's words, the whole thing is about fitting the building into Bilbao. So for me, it's about the imagery of the river and the imagery of the city. David Hockney's A Bigger Splash is his pop view of California living, the essence of the good life found out west. His painting is static and flat. 
Yet there is a sense of movement in the splash, as if we are seeing the scene after the diver has submerged under the surface and all you're left with is the aftermath, the flow of the water. There is no sense of fluidity on what we see, but under the surface motion occurs. The water is moving, like a frozen lake in winter, where ice lays still and the current continues to flow under the static top. Oldenburg and Van Bruggen's Spoon Bridge and Cherry uses water as a base for the spoon in this aluminum stainless steel and paint piece of art. The water gracefully holds the spoon up while the cherry stem spews out water during the summertime. This piece, done in the mid-80s, brings everyday objects to a monumental scale. Oldenburg and Bruggen realistically capture an everyday simple tree, freshly washed, and bring it to a large scale in Minneapolis for the sculpture garden of the Walker Art Center. Fluidity and movement envelops our life. Humanity is surrounded by the rhythm and flow of the oceans, rivers, and lakes that make up our home earth. In water, man found the rhythm that flowed inside of him and through the ages has used this inspiration to create and enhance an art legacy, an aesthetic, pictorial, sculptural, and architectural that has become the reflection of our inner selves. Whether we know it or not, we are living within the realm of a liquid life.